today we're going to look at sequences and the first thing I want to talk about is um, this sequence we've got in front of us. So if we look at the sequence, it goes 2, then 5, then 8, then 11, then 14, it seems pretty straightforward. We've dealt with these in previous weeks. Um, you start at 2 and you just keep adding 3. So plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. And it's very easy to get to the next term. It's very easy to describe the sequence. But what is not so easy to do is, what if I asked you, what is the 100th term of this sequence? That's not so easy to find out. And the reason it's not so easy to find out is because knowing plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 only gets you the next term. And to figure out the 100th term, I need to work out all the ones before. Okay, so I need to work out... The first term's 2, the second term's 5, the third term's 8, the fourth term's 11, the fifth term's 14, and it's going to carry on like that, and it's going to take me 100 goes to get up to 100, and it's a lot of work. It would be much easier to do that if I knew a different sort of rule that took me from the number 100 for the 100th term and took me to the answer. And that's what we're going to look at today. So, it's called position to term rule. The position is the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and so on and so on. And the term itself is what the number is in the sequence. This terminology is going to be fairly important. And then it's got an nth over here, an n with a little th. And this just represents any number. So, before when I said the hundredth term, we could put a hundredth term in there and then work it out. We could put 200th, 150th, 97th, whatever we want. The whole point is this is the general way of doing things. So let's have a look at a little sequence. So if we start with three, and then the next one's six. So you can see it's adding three each time. So it's add three, add three, add three, add three. Now, if I want to get to the hundredth term, I'm going to have to add three a lot of the times the way I just described it. So instead of going from the previous term to the next term, plus three, we want to go from this position to the term. So I want to go from the one to the three, and the two to the six, and the three to the nine. Okay? We can find each one by multiplying the position by three. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 3 is 15, 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, if you know anything about algebra, you should hopefully know that 3 times n is 3n. And this is the important one, which is going to tell us what we need to know for future sequences. So for um, future position and terms we want to know. So if we want to know what's the 100th term of the sequence, then instead of counting on, I use this formula. This tells you, well, whatever term I'm looking for, three times that. So three times 100, it says underneath there, three times 100 equals 300. Okay, so... This is very powerful because it can take us all the way to the 100th term immediately without having to work out all the other ones. In the previous example we looked at, um, we couldn't get to the 100th term straight away. But what I'm going to do is, because this was an easy one figuring out, well, it's just times by 3, times by 3, times by 3. I'm going to show you another way of working out the same sort of thing for any sequence. So this is the sequence we looked at before. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. And I want to find out the nth term. When it asks you to find out the nth term, it's finding out the general formula. Okay? It's not, the nth term is not plus 3. That is the, um, just the term, the term rule. When it asks for the nth term, it wants us to do this. So, the first step is you find a common difference. 
So you look what's happening between the terms. And if we look at this, it's plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three. That's the common difference. So this plus three is going to be part of our answer. So part of our answer is going to be 3n because of that. Then what we've got to do is, because we're not done yet, unfortunately, because if you think about it, 3 times 1 is not 2, 3 times 2 is not 5, 3 times 3 is not 9, it's not quite that. We've got to go back one term in our sequence and find the zero term. So this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. If we go back one, it's the zero term. If you go back one, well, if you want to go backwards in the sequence, you're taking away three. So the zero term is minus one. And then that's the zero term. That goes on the end of our sequence. And we've got 3n minus one as our final answer. Okay. Now, if this was just, let's say, seven, then I would put 3n plus seven. If it was nine, I put 3n plus nine. If it was minus 4, 3n minus 4. If this went down in 3s, I'd put minus 3n. But it's always going to work out this way. Okay, so let's go through that one more time. You've got your sequence. You find out what it's going up or down in. So it's going up in 3s. That means 3n. That's part of our answer. Write down part of your answer, 3n. Then go back one in your sequence. So going back one, I get to negative one. So my final answer is 3n minus one. Then how this works, if I want to find out the hundredth term of the sequence, then this means, in words, three times a number take away one. So if I want to find out the hundredth term, I'm going to do three times a hundred to take away one, and the hundredth term would be 299. If I wanted the thousandth term, it would be three times a thousand to take away one, which is 2,999. We can jump to any term we want with this formula because this just says, well, which term do you want? Put that number in the formula and that's going to be our answer. Okay, this is fairly straightforward once you get the grips with it, but there can be some difficulty understanding it first. So it might seem like I'm going over it too many times, but I'm going to go over it one more time before we end the lesson. And uh, that way, hopefully, everyone will have a good idea of understanding it. So you're asked to find the nth term of the formula of the sequence. There's our sequence. So the first thing you do is you find out what's going on with the sequence. This one is going up in threes, plus three, plus three, plus three. So whatever it's going up in, that number of n is part of our answer. Then you go back one in the sequence. So you go back in the sequence, instead of plus threes, you're gonna be take away threes. And this ends up with minus one. So we put minus one on the end and we're done. If it was a four, we put three M plus four because it wouldn't be a negative number. Then think what this word this means in words because that's the answer for the nth term. But if we have to use it, we've got to understand what it means. So three N minus one means three times a number, take away one. If it was three n plus four, it would be three times a number plus four. And then whichever term you're asked to find, usually the hundredth, could be any one though, you do three times a hundred, take away one, 299. If you wanted the 20th term, three times 20 gets you 60, take away one, 59. Okay, so that's, that's everything for today. Hopefully, you can um, get on with the exercise now and um, we will uh, we'll end the lesson right there.